Since 1954, Alfa Romeo is building the Giulietta. And this model is very important for the brand because that was the change between small series and mass production. One thing hasn't changed since then. You can see this here at this 1956 model. The front is so similar to the actual, to the modern one. But some things have changed since then. And we have a closer look now what the new one delivers. Right from the very beginning of the Giulietta series, sporty looks were an absolute must for Alfa Romeo. The Giulietta Sprint from 1956 shows dynamic proportions that you can still see in the Alfa DNA today. Sixty years later, and the front of the Giulietta still features the typical Alfa Romeo look now expressed through a new grille and redesigned bumpers, showing more of the modern style of the Alfa Romeo Giulia. The top trim level of the latest Giulietta series, called Veloce, presents itself as particularly sporty. Wing mirrors with carbon fiber housings, red trim lines on sport bumpers, and exterior features in shiny anthracite. The side instantly catches your attention with its 17-inch alloy wheels, covering the Brembo brake system with its red-painted calipers. The dynamic movement more than keeps up with all of that sporty styling. Alpha has always featured a good power-to-weight ratio, and the new Giulietta is no exception. The new Giulietta comes with eight new engines, four diesel and four petrol. The diesels range from 120 to 175 brake horsepower, and the new one here is the 120 brake horsepower combined with a dual clutch transmission. This one should only take 3.9 liters per 100 km driven. The smallest petrol engine comes with 120 brake horsepower. This is a 1.4 liter four cylinder engine. The top version is the so called Veloce. This one got 240 brake horsepower, and this is the car we drive today. With so much power on board, the new Giulietta moves pretty athletically. Driving the new Giulietta through the countryside is great. The new Giulietta is quite a job and you have the perfect sound as well. Thanks to direct steering, a dual clutch transmission and the possibility of different driving modes, it's entirely up to the driver just how dynamic the car is. So you can enjoy the driving experience fully, the interior matches the dynamic exterior looks. The seats provide plenty of support without sacrificing comfort, and the infotainment system with its up to 6.5 inch touchscreen is right up to date. The top model Veloce comes complete with aluminium pedals, a leather sports steering wheel with red contrast stitching and carbon look features, making the feel very sporty throughout. Overall, the Alfa Romeo Giulietta Veloce makes for a very sporty car that's still suitable for everyday use, but that absolutely does not feel ordinary. Both the exterior and the interior leave no doubt that this is a bona fide Alfa Romeo. The combination of proven Italian design, material selection and impressive performance leaves me with a very positive impression throughout. The facelift did well for the Giulietta. From the front, she looks a bit more like the Giulia now, and that makes her even more beautiful. The entrance price is a bit higher than 21,000 euro, but I think that's more than fair. But if you want to have the top version, the so-called Veloce, that's more than 32,000 euros. But the car comes well equipped and with pure driving pleasure. A little hint from my side, if you're tall, try the seats because the sunroof takes the centimeters you may need to sit comfortable. But the rest of the car, great fun.